Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Bug Fables. Last time we left off, we were sitting right here and we were gonna cross this river. And sneaked out then after we came down here, once Neolith told us that a peculiar gym we had would open up something in Snake Mouth. So, we're gonna see exactly what's down here, uh, besides the zombies that we saw last time. Alright, what do we got to see here? Whoa. Excuse me, sir? I... That, that was weird. I had no idea that was gonna turn into an enemy. Alright, what in the world are you, besides a giant mushroom? Uh, spy. Yeah, that's what I want. Did that say a blast shroom? Oh, a bloat shroom. This hideous thing. We feel it holds some connection to the jelly shroom. It should be equally weak to ice. Let's be wary of its poison and counterattack. Hmm. Counterattack, huh? Well, let's just mess with it a bit and see what it does. Nothing yet. Okay, so it's weak to poison. Which is nice, because life will do normal damage. And we're gonna bop ya. Okay. It's a pretty eh attack, all things considered. I mean, like I said, I'm pretty sure I was supposed to come here earlier, so... I wouldn't be surprised if the enemies are a little on the weak side. Judging by how much XP I got from those, uh... Zombie ants, er, uh... Zombie and Zombeetle. Judging by how much I actually got from them, this next level up will probably just make it so I don't have to fight these enemies at all. Mon roaches, stay out. This is your first and final warning. Ah. Well, time to get our roach cosplay going, everyone. Because we need to get in here. Uh. Hmm. How does one do? Let's see, I need to... No, I don't need to get up there. Hmm. Wow, this will take a second. How am I supposed to get to that switch? I mean, I assume that's what opens the door. But how? Hmm. Alright. Consider me puzzled. Let's think of our abilities. We got this. There's like a little like thing going yet in the background. I thought it was my cats. But it's it's actually the soundtrack. That's why I paused for a second there. I was like, wait, what? He sounds weird right now. And then yeah, no, it was not that. Um hmm. I mean I felt like I needed to do something with this, but I I can't get up there. Wait, can you just create icicles to stand on right here? Or does it have to be in water? Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was thinking is like, it might be like a... They might be trying to showcase something that I didn't know I could do with Leif's icicle. And sure enough, that's what it was. Neat. Is there anything hidden behind these waterfalls? I feel like with my near limitless ability to travel on water now, that... I can probably just go anywhere in this room without much trouble. Oh, that went in a weird direction. That really does sound like one of my cats. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. There's like a there's a crystal in here, but it's like it was in a tube. Even though these crystals preserve data, that is not true immortality, is it? We can't latch onto the sapling anymore. We must find a way to become eternal on our own. Ah, so they were trying to become immortal with technology. These crystals store incredible amounts of data. We can study subjects even if they expire. Huh. It's kind of a similar thing to a game I played called The Outer Wilds, where people were stored in crystals um, so they could keep coming back again and again uh, to redo the same cycle. I don't really think there's gonna be anything over here. I'm going to be honest. Wait. No. 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 Got my got my hopes up for nothing. Go ahead and toss that there. Oh well, I guess falling into the water is a faster way to get back. Hello. Well, I mean, if I'm gonna fight you, 
Oh, okay, cool. I don't have to fight you. Fantastic, actually. So it's just the big shrooms and stuff that I have to fight, I guess. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. The zombie variants only gave me, like, one XP apiece. Wow, this is a large room. Okay, we got a lot... We got a lot going on here. Hello. Yeah, you just die immediately. Cool. Well, that'll make this area pretty simple to get through. So, well, that's nice. Oh, you, though. Yeah, you can still be a problem. Hmm. Well? I would like to freeze you two, because I've seen the zombie in the back can actually be a little dangerous. So how about we just go for a big ol' freeze? And... Let's go ahead and do a heavy strike on you. You're honestly not too terrifying. I still haven't seen this supposed poison attack that you can do, but maybe your default attack is a poison one. I'm just blocking it so it doesn't matter. Not sure. But you are dead, sir. Have a good day. Well, I suppose if you're dead, you're not having a good day, but... Regardless, I hope you enjoyed the little time you had today. I wonder if there's a connection to these uh, enemies being weak to ice. I mean... Actually, no, of course there is. They're mushrooms. Of course they would be weak to ice. They have a mushroom growing out of their head. I suppose. I mean, it is plant matter. I'm not sure how mushrooms do in cold. Like, I know mushrooms usually grow in, like, damp, wet environments, but I'm not sure how mushrooms do in cold. I'm pretty sure don't, mushrooms don't even grow there, so... Alright, there's my platform. Hey! I didn't think about that. Okay. And what's with that a bear, I wonder? What's going on with that crack in the wall? Because normally that's something I would, like, dig under with Kabu. But I don't actually think I can do that. Is that a jump I can even make? Okay, it is. Cool. <laughs> Was curious. We can't feel our legs. Oh, wow. This is just, like, Itchy Tasty from, um... Like, Resident Evil. Like, the notes detailing them turning into zombies. Interesting. So you're a little bit tougher. The old zombie-tle. Well, that's fine, though. We're just going to beat you up a bunch. I hope you don't mind. And, yeah, let's do a regular attack with you first, and then we'll Frigid Coffin. Well, unless I screw the regular attack up. In that case, we'll just do Frigid Coffin. Sometimes it is a little easy for me to get that wrong. But it looks like this enemy's gonna go down relatively easy. As always, I'll probably... I'll probably show most of these enemies this episode, just because they are still relatively new. Ah, that is a nasty attack. I always forget the second ones. Um, the enemy is relatively new, so I feel like it makes sense to show them. Plus, I'm fairly close to a level up, and once I level up, uh, you found a lab card? Wow, this really is like Resident Evil. <laughs> We're finding lab cards to get to different parts, and there's notes left by the inhabitants detailing how they turned into a Zambo. Yep. Hmm. I feel like I should explore in here. I mean, it's probably a linear path, but what if it isn't? Yeah, it just takes me back there. Right? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, eh, does this lead me to, like, another room or something? No. I guess they don't want to be mean enough to, like, actually hide something in there where you can't even see it. And there we go. Across the gap we are. So that's one lab card. We probably need four from the various different areas that we've seen. If I had to venture a guess. Seems Oop. Oh, come on, Leif. That wasn't even deep water. The, like, little thing is right there. Come on. I know you're a moth, and moths aren't exactly known for their swimming ability, but still. At least I think Leif was a moth, I'm pretty sure, because I remember being like, oh, that's what he, that's what Leif is. Should I have hit that save point? Uh, I think we're fine. Hey you, ugly. 
Let's go. All right, so we have quite a bit more foes to deal with this time, which is kind of intimidating. But let's just beat up on the zombie first, just because that that poison could be a bit of an annoyance. So we probably want to take that out. A sap. And let's get you to hit the zombie. And now we ice fall. Please freeze everyone. That would be ideal. Okay, I'll take it. Ooh, okay. Whoa, that heals them? Okay, that's nasty. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, so you attack the bloat shroom now. You're only gonna do one damage if I remember correctly, but it's fine. Because now we're just gonna ice fall and that'll kill the zombie on its own. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that is a really nasty attack that the uh, zombie beetle has. I wish Kabu had that attack. That would be ideal. For sure. Hmm. We are looking a little roughed up right now. Mm. Alright, well, let's just go with a normal attack on you for now. I have to drop another... I mean, if I could just Frigid Coffin the Beetle in the back, this would be so much easier. Because he's the one that damages. Yeah. Alright, now we can just focus on the Bloat Shroom. And uh, not worry about it too much. Ah, I didn't get it perfect. Would have been nice, but what can you do? And with this, you're defeated, foul beast. And we're gonna go ahead and not attack with V. Even though it would do extra damage, it's just not worth it because he would get an attack off as well. We're gonna heavy strike with Kabu. Because I believe... Never mind. Thought Kabu's gonna do more damage than that. Um... Alright. Well, we're just gonna have to take the hit on this one. He's gonna live with one HP and get one attack off. And sadly, all of his attacks are scary. Damn, I hate that attack. The delay on it is just ridiculous. I'm so bad with delayed attacks, as I've mentioned about a billion times at this point. Delayed attacks are the bane of my existence. Just faking me out. It's, it's the number one way to defeat me. All right. Honey pancakes. Let's just go ahead and get rid of these. And then we can... You know what? Let's just use some of these crunchy leaves on Kabu. There we go. He's all healthy again. So... There we go. Oh, does that just call it? Hmm. Looks like we have another enemy up here as well. Hey, you. Please don't have as many enemies this time. Okay, cool. It's just you. That is ideal. I'm very, very happy with this. And I can get off one Frigid Coffin for free because I have Triumph Buzz on. So, hello. Oh, I should have a... Damn it. Okay, that was a mistake on my part, but it's fine. We can get some TP back with Do Nothing. And now we can attack. Boom. We're still hitting the same problem we had before, so I'm just gonna Frigid Coffin him. I managed to do nothing, so I got a little bit of it back, so I would rather do that than take damage. At least those are worth 5 XP. I would put on the badge, uh, or the medal that gives me double XP, but... I'm not exactly sure that, um... I would be able to uh, defeat them if I had that on, because I think I think we do like less damage overall. Which can be a bit rough. Alright, we're back over here. Oh, hi. Let me just, uh, bop you. So you must have one of the zombie beetles with you. Yeah. Alrighty. Gonna be fighting a lot of you, huh? I mean, they're cool designs and cool ideas. I like it quite a lot. They're a bit annoying to fight, though. Oh, wait, no. We do not do that yet. First, we attack the zombie. Then we let V attack the zombie. And now we ice fall. 
Please get frozen, Zombie Beetle. Yeah. Alright, one damage. That's all you can pull off. Uh, let's let Leif attack you. There we go. Three damage. And you... Let's just do a normal attack on you. Don't really see the need to do anything more than that. Oh, we actually get two XP from the zombies. I thought we just got one. Aw, oh, come on. I was so close that time. I'm gonna have to start timing the damn... To, uh... Actually get that off. That was probably an obnoxious sound I was making into the mic, but that's what it sounds like to me, I guess. Um, I actually don't think I have anything to kill. Ignoring one defense while damaging and flipping. Tornado toss. Yeah, we're all pretty hurt again. I mean, I don't, I don't think we would die per se, but we would get beat up quite a bit. Yeah, this enemy's kind of nasty. That only does 4 damage with one more from the poison, so there's no point in doing that because it'd just be a waste of TP. Let's just do that. There we go. Those are some pretty good blocks. Managed to save us some damage. I would love a Venus Bud at some point. This is a massive dungeon. You'd think there would be a Venus Bud in it. We're also very, very close to a level up, though. Yeah, this is a really big dungeon. I would assume there would be a Venus Bud. Uh, oh, whoops. No, wrong thing. There we go. Oh. Okay, I see. Well, I did that wrong. Will you go up again? No. Alright, we gotta be fast, apparently. Okay, whew. Yeah, you gotta time that perfectly. There we are. And... What is the deal with that? Oh, okay, there we go. Cool. This is an interesting little platforming section. Very, very weird, I gotta say. Um... What's... what are we doing here? Oh, do I have to hit this down here? Oh, wow. Okay, that was cool. I liked that quite a bit. Hello. Ooh, I didn't heal up, actually. Ooh. This could be hairy. Might have to run from this one, in fact. If I don't play things super, super safe here. So, the main thing is just freezing that stupid zombie beetle, because he's the one that does all the damage. The zombie and everything aren't, they're not really a factor, but that zombie beetle is spooky. Hmm. Okay, so the zombie, almost down. Now, if this ice fall would hit a lot of them, thank you. All of them is, in fact, the ideal situation. Thank you very much for that. So you can finish off that. And what do we want you to do, Kabu? We really just need to make sure this enemy is frozen. Like if he's if he's not frozen, things will get bad. Okay, there we go. I'm not really scared of the zombie ant. It did do two damage, though. Huh. Did they get stronger or something? Should I take this opportunity to do some extra damage to you? Or... what? Let's see, so... With Heavy Strike and them being frozen, I think that would do six damage. And then if Leif Frigid Coffined again, I think this enemy would die. I would use up a lot of my TP, but... Yeah. So if I if I did frigid coffin again, that enemy would die without damaging us. I think I'm gonna do it. Just to secure this victory without taking too much. And V just attack the 
dumb zombie ant. No, you don't. With your one damage, get out of here. I'm not even gonna get XP for you, I don't think. Oh, not even one. <laughs> oh well. We're close to a level up, at the very least. Alright, that is two of these badge... er, things. This is my last message. It isn't safe anywhere but here. We were proud and reckless. Food will not last long to think it in like this. Oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I'm an... I'm an, uh, not smart. I'm an not smart. Uh, I was about... I was trying to say I'm not smart and I am, uh, stupid. Or a fool. And got it mixed up. But basically their way of attaining immortality here was to turn themselves into mushroom zombies. I'm sitting here like, oh, what kind of technology are they going to use? Are they using the crystals? No, they ended up trying to use the mushrooms to make themselves immortal, and we can see how that turned out. Alrighty. Well, I think we can possibly tackle one more area this episode. That's the one I examined, right? Yeah. Alright, let's go check out what's over here to the left. I still really wish there was a Venus Bud here. It would be fantastic and it would make my day, but I don't think that's something that we're getting. Attainment offices ahead. Wear protective equipment at all times. Okay. Oh, thank you. That's where you were hiding. Hey, the guy's Venus. You wanna, yeah, heal me up. Thank you. Cool, cool. Now I feel great. It's, uh, up. Uh, you, you snuck up on me. I'm, I'm bad at noticing those in the environment. I'm always like, okay, there's nothing over here. Because I'm used to, like, cactuses and, I guess, the grass from the leaf bugs. But those guys are sneaky. Ah. Uh, once again, didn't actually freeze the, uh... Was it a bloat shroom? Boom. You got perfect guarded, sir. Get out of here. Does life... I don't think he does three damage. Yeah, because they have one defense. So he just does two. But that's fine, because V can finish it off. We barely even had to use uh, any TP for that. And you just did a weak little three damage attack. You're really not intimidating, zombie. You are going to live, though. So you get one more swing at us. What are you going to do with that time? You're going to attack Kabu. was not a very good decision. Boom. Bye-bye. Thanks for the XP, though. Getting really close to that level up. So I'll be able to get a free heal out of that. A cooked shroom. Why was it cooked? Was that thing cooked? Stop now? Preposterous. We're about to create something above the gods. Become as gods. Become as gods. I need to play Nier Automata again. Good game. And a free mushroom. Let's see... Is there even a way for me to get up there? It looks like that would be a location I could get to, but no. Hmm. So wait, what's the deal here? There's a hole. A lab card. Uh, no. Oh, so he said something's off. Have courage, Leif. Your answers could be at hand. Okay. So we need some cranks, it seems. Wow, this really is Resident Evil. <laughs> You're collecting cranks and key cards and there's zombies all over the place. I wonder if that was, uh... Maybe they used that as a bit of an inspiration for this particular area. Because it does feel very similar in both puzzles and concept. I mean, we even had an itchy tasty note. That's super cool, though. I really enjoy it. Um... Okay, so we could go over there. I guess let's go investigate that. The last room was quite short. I'm not sure if I actually have to jump between these. But I'm doing it just to be safe. No life. Aim that direction, please. The aiming on your abilities is sometimes weird because they do default to a certain direction. So you kind of have to lead the joystick in a direction before using the ability can be a bit wonky sometimes, but most of the time it works just fine. Alright. Looks like there's some kind of scanner. Lab card.
Alrighty, what do we have in here? Seeing all this, it makes it seem like the Ant Kingdom is, like, pretty far behind in technology. Because they... I'm pretty sure they've mentioned that the termites are pretty advanced. The roaches were extremely advanced, as we're seeing. And the bees had a lot of the same technology that this area has. So it's really just the Ant Kingdom that's lacking? I guess the wasps didn't have a total... Uh, like, a ton of, uh, technology. So... Maybe they're also... Whoops. Like the Ant Kingdom? Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just making a mistake here. So we just need to do that. Or not. Can I make that jump? I can make that jump. There we go. That's what I needed to do. This looks like a very painful and confusing puzzle coming up ahead. Oh, hello. They just like hide as boulders. So they blend into the background so well. I'm always like, oh, there's nothing over here. You damn bloat shrooms. Tired of you. Now we're gonna freeze you to death. There we go. Oh, I should have attacked with V first. It was one damage. Not the end of the world for sure. Hmm. I mean, I guess I can kind of spam my abilities here because I certainly don't um, really need to save my TP considering we're gonna be leveling up soon. So we can go a little bit crazy with our abilities. Why not? And yeah, why not? Let's just let's just kill you. Bye bye. Oh, it does do three and two damage. Okay, for some for some reason I thought it did two and two. Not sure why I thought that. All right. Well, now we can just finish you off. Especially if we use uh. Heal pins. Oh, wait, did it do 3 and 2 damage because, um, he was frozen? I can't remember. Was he frozen? Man, my memory is just shot. I'm basically an old person and I'm, like, 25, so <laughs> I'm, I'm already old. In my brain. It's just, uh, doesn't work sometimes. Can I... Okay, cool. You can drop it to, like, uh, freeze the ice, as it were. Huh. I think I kind of screwed this up. Oh, wait. Okay, but can I make that? No. Okay. So I think I just got the levels wrong there. Abu, can you break that? There we go. Yeah, I think I just got the levels on... <laughs> I, I thought I was on Leif. Instead, I was on Kabu, and I jumped and drowned. Uh, how long does it take for these to go away? Because I kind of have to read. No, maybe, maybe I don't have to redo it. I suppose I could do this. I mean, maybe this is even what was intended? I thought I was going to have to freeze those and then kind of jump on top of them. If there is an alternate solution to this puzzle, that's pretty neat. Oh yeah, we can get up there. Cool. Yeah, I thought I was going to have to freeze those and then kind of platform off of those to get to that last platform, but... Whatever. Deal, uh, solve the puzzle with what you got. That's what I say. Okay, so there's... Oh, it said a crank. I guess they meant a cog. Because, yeah, I was like, huh, this doesn't look like a place where cranks would go, per se. Interesting. Probably just a, uh... They probably just misspoke. I could see myself getting those two mixed up. Cranks and cogs. On the topic of Resident Evil, since this area is very, very, uh... Seemingly influenced by that... Man, I cannot wait for uh, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I absolutely loved Resident Evil 2 remake, so Nemesis has me incredibly excited. Hopefully it's just as fantastic as uh, Resident Evil 2 remake was. It would honestly be something I would consider playing on the channel, but one, I'm an absolute wimp when it comes to uh, well, not an absolute wimp. My girlfriend's an absolute wimp, but uh, I'm not too great when it comes to horror games, I guess. So, 
decision making would not be as on point. Or, well, it's not it's not ever really on point, I guess. It, it would be even worse than it already is, let's say that. If uh, I was scared. Although I guess I haven't played one horror game on the channel. I did play, um, Dark. I think the DLC for that is coming out soon, so I might have to keep an eye on that. You found a big gear. Okay, can I just... Can I just throw myself off the ledge and get teleported back to the start? No. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I was... I was hopeful. I thought it might work out. It did not. Alright, well, I guess I have to do this whole ice platforming shenanigans to get back. Well, now you break. Took you 10 years to break. What's the deal? This is a lot of jumping on ice blocks, actually. I like the ability, though. I think it's cool that they added something like this. Something that is so, like, platforming focused and honestly pretty versatile. There's so many areas in the game where I'm, or I'm like, uh, trying to think of where there was water and stuff so that I could actually get around that now. Worded that a bit oddly, but I guess I got my idea out. Because I remember when I got the water breathing technique in Sekiro, if anyone's ever played that, I was like, oh man, where were all the water areas at? One of my favorite things about Metroidvanias is just... When you see all these things and you're like, oh, that's going to be something later. And you can finally go back and get all of those things. It's just nice. So? It's good. No, you know what? Nice nice isn't the correct word. It's more like cathartic. When you finally get that Metroidvania ability that lets you go back and get everything. But yeah, I think this is a pretty good spot to go ahead and end this episode off. This area is quite a bit bigger than I imagined. It looks like we have one more key card to use over there. There's one more area to go in right there. So I guess we're getting two more gears. I thought I saw four slots though, so. We will see you next time. Regardless, I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you then.